birthday, happy blade birthday if it's in the past, happy future birthday if it's in the future. My name is Lime Green, and welcome to Zelda Month. Uh, today we're doing uh, Skyward Sword enemy tier list. I did this <laughs> once before, and uh, a whole bunch of problems happened, and now I'm going to do it again, and... Uh, Here's our tiers. This is S tier, A, B, C, and I hate it tier, basically. And here's all the enemies, except for Remlet, which I discovered. And probably something else, I, I don't know. But let's start off here before anything else bad happens. Uh, I've discovered there are <laughs> lots of enemies that are similar in the last one. Um, I don't know, I'm suddenly drawn to the snake. Snake thing? that up high. I started with keys last time. The keys is good. And so are <laughs> whatever. That thing is like a. I want to say they start with a B. I I. I want to say it's not Bokoblin. This is a Bokoblin. Where's the green one? There's the Shocky, Shocky boy. And then, I forgot the green one last time, I, and I, I did at the end, it made him seem more important than he is. So, kinda don't like... Kinda don't like these two. Like, I would rather I a keys because he looks cooler. But here. He kind of looks ugly, I have to be honest. And then this zombie. Plants for zombies. We're all fans in this house. Oh. Uh, choo choo. Pikachu. Pichu, Raichu, Pika Blue, uh, don't really like Electric guy, I really don't like him, cause he, sh you're, you can just be running around and he'll just pop up and shock you. Same with the magma one. I think these are both magma ones. And then this guy, he just vibes in the water. So 
So he can hang down there. Hand. I love how you beat it. So he can go up there. Because you gotta throw the little water droplet at him. We'll add a couple enemies up. Little small boys. And Skull Chula. It's alright. When they're on the ground, they're a menace. Uh... They're a menace to society. I hate fighting Octorox. And then these. They, and they're... They're just cool. I don't like them more than that. I like them like this much. Like that much. And then this, I just discovered recently you can throw a bomb and they eat the bomb and they blow up. And then this, that's just the stronger version I think. So it goes down because I don't like the color very much. His lips. Look at his lips. Those lips shoot out fireballs. And when you're trying to navigate like caves and uh, jump across like fiery platforms, uh, he always shoots you into magma. And that always does me in. So he gets bottom bottom of the bottom for now mm. spats cooler but he gives you a terrible effect so He's there. Forgot this bat. And then this bird just kind of exists. Are we all done with the common enemies? I think what I did last time is I went Bwah. Bwah. Cause when you're walking around he pops out and he spits fire at you. You think You've killed them all, and then, you know, the blood moon rises again. And he just always comes back from the dead. Or, it's, it's the worst. And he, you, one, like, 
figuring out about myself is I hate the enemies that surprise you with unpredictability. Like, and I guess I hate how he just exists underwater. So he just comes up and shoots you. He just comes up and shoots you. He just explodes when you run into him. And then he just comes out and shoots you. And then he, you pick him up and he electrocutes you. And then here I'm gonna spoil something. I don't like here. Maybe even what? Because the boss fight. It's a good. It's a good fight, like area sequence. But she shoots the snakes at you, and you're like suddenly overwhelmed, and you got you know, cut the tentacles, and then you gotta shoot the eye, and then there, there's a box. It, I don't like Tentalus, I believe the name is. Why don't you have a transparent background? Put you in B. Now these two, they just look like Spyro enemies. If I'm being honest, they're kind of cool. It's like, why, why would you separate them? It's like this. And this. This isn't even like an enemy. Here's our first S tier. But the Skyward Sword Guardian. And here's the Wind Waker uh, totem thing from the Tower of the Gods. Ooh. Now here's the question. This is this, eh? We'll put this in us. Mm. Boot you up. Now I'm like rethinking this. I like this fish more than most people, I think. Because you get to... It's... What is it? Like a one-time or two-times fight? It's a one-move fight, but it's pretty cinematic.
I know people don't really like cinema and it, their video games, but it's it does the job, I think. in prison now. Prison one. I think a prison one's like right there. Prisoned with hands. Might be there. There. There's in prison with hands. Now imprisoned that can fly. That's like here we go, we're going up. Flying imprisoned. Imprisoned just gets bigger, or he just ascends the tier list as he gets more stages. Now we'll do. Well, I can't really reveal all that yet. Now we'll do GRMs. Gear him, Graham, all his forms. This is Graham. I'm not sure why he doesn't have a head, but this is his first form. Yeah, it's going in. Going in S. Second form. Kinda lame. Kinda lame. This is this is the kind of lame tier. I guess. Kinda lame for Graham. Third form, top tier, S. Moldorak. Pretty good. It's a quick fight. Would I rather fight Moldorak or Imprisoned? Prison 1 or Moldorak? Prison 2 or Moldorak? Well, I'd rather fight Moldorak than <laughs> in prison or gear him too. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I just saw something. Gear him too is like dropping. That seems good. I think Moldorak goes here. Scaldera. I think Scaldera. No way, hold on. I'm remembering the Scaldera fight. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty good. The way you enter the boss fight is pretty good. How do. Who's there? Would I rather f 
from? It's like a tight thing between Moldorak, because I'd rather fight Moldorak. You know? Moldorak and Scout Era, they're like interchangeable. But it's like all these enemies, it's like, eh. Now, Bilocyte? Bilocytes. That B. All right now. Where do I go at the end and clean this up? All right now. Now for the fun ones. Zalfos, I think I put up here, and then the silent trial guys, top tier, but it's like, what order here? It's like, and they're, I like this guy, the hood, hood lantern, ghost man. We'll put him here, and then scythes. Clubby, hitting all the clubs. Of uh, the Hydra, Hail Hydra. Also an S tier. Saved all the S tiers for last. Except for this. What is this? This is not an S tier. This is. What is this? This is Goalie Boy. Woman bean. Yeah, we'll throw demise in there to mix mix this up. Demise going right now. People say demise. The demise fight was like short and easy, and I'd say I have to. Well, I every time I play Skyward Sword, you get you gotta play it twice. You know, once on the regular mode and once on uh, what's it called? Like hero mode. And the last time I played it on the HD version on hero mode, I just drank the one potion that gives you invincibility for like three minutes yeah <laughs> i beat demise before the potion even wore off and that's kind of 
Kind of insane. But it was an intense... You know, people will say, Oh, it, it was pretty easy. I beat it with full hearts and... Uh, 9,999 rupees and all this. But, like what he said, you know, the environment. The story, the lore. You know, it really puts him in S tier. For me, and I think that's what really solidifies Skyward Sword as, you know, a top tier Zelda game. At least for me. Okay, so I'll go over all this really fast here. I think I've cracked the code. Okay, so I'll go over the S tiers at least and some of the others. I'll go over the S tiers in a lot more detail than the others. Okay, so this is Gearham level 3, or it's the third boss fight. Uh, you know, it, you got fight him in like three different ways. It, he's got, you know, the horde. He, he's got the. Well, the horde's not even part of him. What am I even saying? He, he's got the platforms and then you gotta find him on the ground and then you gotta find him with the big sword and then it's like whoa and then the, there's demise and then he's you gotta find him with like the lightning bolts and I basically said everything before and then these are like the silent trio silent trio <laughs> uh yeah, you know, you know why they're there. And then this is... You know why he's there, I guess. Uh, he's the guy from... The place. What's the place? Oh my gosh. I can't even look. <laughs> ah. All right, this is Zalphos, and then this is Yurhem, and Zalphos. He's really cool because he can do flips and stuff, and Yurhem. He's really cool because he can take your sword and he can shoot beams and he's got three heads and he can regrow them and then he can shoot missiles and uh, Scully boy uh, he's a pirate that's why he's there and he can pull out another sword and this man has four swords four sword adventures in fact It is called Ancient Cistern. I didn't even look it up. It, you saw me look it up. Or didn't see me look it up, in fact. Uh, a 